Kendall College of Art and Design at Ferris State University had had wonderful growth from 500 students to over 1,400 students. Right next door to their current facility was this wonderful federal building constructed in 1909 that had been used first as a courthouse post office building, then by the Grand Rapids Art Museum, but it was vacant. I remember the first day I walked in this building. Uh, we walked up to the fourth floor, which hadn't, which hadn't been used since the mid-70s. And there was a plastic sheet that went from the hole in the ceiling to a barrel that collected the rain that ran off, off through the roof. The barrel was full. When we began to develop this project, it was easy to find good partners because people cared so passionately about this space. The most sustainable building is one that we don't tear down and we don't build. It's a building that we save and a building that had great bones like this building did with this amazing masonry and superb hardwoods throughout was something that people really felt a part of and bringing this to life was something that was more than just our university and our community. It was the people of Grand Rapids working together to make a difference for something that was truly right a part of downtown. It's been fun to watch the faculty and students of Kendall College of Art and Design move into this facility. Uh, the students are just wowed by this structure and they, they have a sense of pride of what they're a part of and you, you can hear it and you can see it. You can feel it in the faculty of Kendall as they adapt this building for, for their unique usage. And what this has done for our college major expansion in ceramics and in sculpture, exhibit area that maybe is five to six times what we had before, new programs in collaborative design and fashion technology and the prospects of a new program, a new architecture degree, which I think would really bring this building full circle to, to restore, to renovate, to, to save this great building and then have that be the home, the next generation of architects in West Michigan would be very, very exciting.